Bro, these kids are ass. What the fuck? Hold up. What was that? Excuse me, buddy. I don't think it was anybody. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, we have got a package. Hey, uh, what is going on guys? It's your boy Kyratic and we are back with a new different kind of video um, It's a keyboard review. We haven't really done anything like this I'm not sure if we're gonna do anything like this again uh, in the like in a little while. So hope you guys enjoy it um, so in this video, I only Unbox one of the two keyboards that I ordered. I ordered one for me and one for my girlfriend I ordered the snowstone and skystone base camp 65 keyboards from high ground Link down below and the description where you can find both keyboards and their website and as always I hope you guys enjoy So I'm not really the best at this. So I'm just gonna put a little Montage in the background of me unboxing and showing the keyboard off, but it has some really good switches both keyboards are packed with the amazing white flame switches designed by TTC and High Ground. They were co-designed. They already come pre-lubed, have no spring ping, and they sound really great. Unfortunately, my mic can't pick up those lows, so it kind of sucks, so I'm sorry for that. Or can't pick it up. You will never know. They feel super good to type on, and they feel like butter. Literal butter when playing. If you care to know, here are the specs for the switches. So it has a 1.6 millimeter actuation point, 3.6 millimeters of total travel, and 45 grams of downward force. It's pretty typical and it's mostly a speed switch, but I honestly like speed switches, so it's a win-win. So I actually lied to you guys, it does pick up those lows, it does pick up the, the keyboard sounds. Um, don't know why it didn't. It originally did not want to, and then my last attempt, it picked it up. So here you guys go. It's they like the keyboard sounds so good. These switches feel and sound super good. So from the following clip, you guys can make a choice on whether they sound good or not. So here it is. So there you guys have it. Um, I know I type like a fucking toddler. I get it. I don't know how to position my hands correctly. But regardless of that, I still think this keyboard sounds and looks amazing. But there's only one true way of knowing if this keyboard is fit for me and you guys. And that's gaming. So to test this out for sure, I'm going to play maybe one couple Valorant games with my girlfriend. She's also trying out the keyboard and we'll go from there and i'll give you my final thoughts after that so i'll see you guys soon
It's your dog shit. It's just dog shit. Okay, so there you have it, guys. They didn't really have a good night, uh, like good game. So clips were kind of eh. They were kind of dog shit. Not gonna lie. But my final thoughts on this. If you're looking for a new keyboard in the market, high ground keyboards is for sure the way to go. They feel nice and heavy, solid. It's a solid build. Switches feel amazing. Keycaps are great. It's a 65% keyboard. It's not too big, not too small. It's honestly amazing. RGB colors, you just can't like, can't argue with how good they look. They also have like pastel colors. So it's not like too flashy to where it's like, this is built for gamers. It's more of like, this is a really cool and aesthetic piece of equipment you can add to your setup. So that's the vibe it's giving me, physically at the, at the very least, like visually. Like when I'm physically using it to game, it feels so good. But when I'm physically like visualizing it in my setup, it's just a really nice addition. So my conclusion is this competes with a lot of good keyboards, Razer Huntsman Mini, Ducky One Two Mini, Logitech G Pro X keyboard, but if you're looking for something that's in the market for under $150 and it's pretty damn good fucking quality, this is the keyboard I recommend. So I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you guys next time.